Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of luxury and when I first bought this Kia Sorento it came with cloth seats so I took them out and bought these two leather seats and it turned out that they were actually heated seats as well and they had a fully electric uh, seat position so uh, when you have them you may as well wire them up. Unfortunately what Kia do is they only give it the driver's side as with all the electronics the passenger side is still totally manual so just be aware of that if you ever buy seats. So how do you actually wire it up and what did I do to actually make this work? I wanted to wire up these seats that they'd be like OEM seats so that they have power when the key is on and they'd have no power when the key is off. It would also make it a lot safer. So here we are down at the fuse panel. You can see that wire there that I've added in. So it's just added in to the very top of one of those connectors just there. So here we are at the back of the seat. That red wire comes up out of the carpet, comes in here. I just have a joiner on it here and a joint onto a blue wire. That blue wire is what powers the entire seat. And then it just uses a negative for the heating system or for the heated seats. So that's power in and ground out. So that's how the electric seats work. So they just go uh, forward, back, tilt, tilt, and then you can push these up and down. I don't want to change my seating position too much, but they'll just tilt the the back of the seat or the front of the seat up and down obviously then this rotates as well so all of that is coming as standard or in the higher end Kia Sorentos where in Volkswagens you have to pay a lot of money just to have that little feature which I still find absolutely bonkers so that's the electric part of it done what about the heating elements so I've just taken off this cover here if you look all the way in there is a sandy white uh, block connector or, or plug just there What it does is it's a big giant relay. So when you turn it on and off your heated seats It's actually turning on a relay on and off there, which will then power the heated seats Next I took this loom here. I cut the very top left and the very bottom right Because that plug on the opposite side those two don't actually go anywhere and I would join on two ordinary wires, just it end up being a red and a red and black and we'll see where they go. They come all the way up here into these plugs here. They were just blanks and there was a plug actually just shoved into these. And there's the blue plug there. I think behind this one was a red plug. If you look there, we have... So I actually wrote on this switch here. So first one, that's that switching live wire. That we brought up so that was red and the other one is red and black so that goes on the very first top left and that's the main switch wire black is ground this red and black original wire from the Kia Sorento that is illumination next one is just missing not important uh, this blue one that's your indicator light, so when you turn on and off here, it'll illuminate this little light here, where this one here is illumination, so when you turn your side lights, this here will glow. And the last one is meant to be your safety, the NTC. Negative temperature coefficient. What's that? Six wires or six holes for six wires. So the most important one is actually ground. Uh, this is the wire here that I brought up so this is red and black and obviously then there's a red one coming up to here that's going into this blue one and that's actually switching so when you turn on and off this it's actually switching the power back so if we listen turn on the ignition you can actually hear it switching so we have this one here which is our blue wire this blue wire here that's the other end of that cable that we cut so that's now turning on and off the relay so when you turn on the light or the side lights the lights down here will illuminate and when you turn on and off the button here this light here will illuminate because it's been powered by this one here here we are in the back of the seat so because the loom that we joined into at the very front this is actually back here as well. This is connected to the uh, relays. That relay is actually built into the car. I didn't add in extra. It's actually just there, but it doesn't work. So obviously if you don't select heated seats, they just don't join it. 
So what we've done is we literally just joined straight into it and it works. So um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So that's how I got heated seats and electric seats into the Kia Sorento. And it's the exact same on the opposite side. You will see here I have one extra wire. This red wire, it joins into the middle of this blue wire here. So the middle wire here in the plug, which is the live to feed the heated seats. And all it does is when you turn on the heated seats, it sends power down here. The power gets to this plug, it heats the heated seats and sends 12 volt back. And that 12 volt then comes up this plug into here and it illuminates because you've actually sent power all the way down and now you haven't. It shows that power is coming out of the second part of the relay and the seat has actually been activated and that I haven't blown a fuse in between. So that's what that is basically just there for. The fuse that the heated seats are wired into is S warmer or seat warmer. So that's fuse 17, which is a 20 amp fuse. So everything is actually done as it would have been in factory in the higher spec, even though this is a lower spec car. So guys, there isn't much information out there on the internet and this is how I wired up Kia Sorento seats back into a Kia because we had the lower spec and this is from the higher spec cars. So all the stuff is actually there, they just haven't actually plugged it all in. So that's how I did it. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe over there, over there, comment down below. And as always guys, thanks for watching. See you later.